Today we're gonna take a look at some great tutorials from the Blender community. They're gonna range from modeling, texturing, simulation, animation, and much more. We're gonna start with a Ducky 3D video, but unlike the usual Geometry Nose tutorials, this one is gonna be a commentary video where he talks about, according to him, the hardest trick to learn in Blender. In this 15 minute video, he will talk about how to deal with the background of your subjects. If you have problems dealing with the background in your render, or you think maybe it's too simplistic or maybe too distracting, then this is gonna be for you. He will go through some techniques to achieve a pleasing result such as infinite backgrounds, a soft backdrop, volume, etc. Next we have this logo reveal or growth animation. You will start first by importing your logo and set it up to create the animation. But before you do that, you need to remesh it first because the displacement effect will need some geometry. After that, you will need some materials that will fade with the effect. Finally, you will set up the scene and lighting and backgrounds and you will finish everything up with some compositing. Also in this interesting tutorial, you will learn how to create this car crash scene in Blender. You will be learning a lot of things about simulation, particles, and even smoke. After grabbing a car model, you will start preparing your car for animation. For example, you will need a lower vertices count and duplicate the mesh for the soft body animation. After that, you will add some details such as deforming the hood, the doors, and breaking windows. Then you are going to wrap everything up and tie everything together by adding some smoke and car animations. If you want to know how to scatter objects in Blender using curves and geometry nodes, Halifax Learn YouTube channel uploaded a 15 minute tutorial on how to scatter candles with animated flames using geometry nodes. You will see how to add variation in size and position, and of course add the flames as animated textures and add randomness to them as well. This is going to be useful for you if you have one asset in your scene that you want to scatter and you want to make it more organic by breaking the repetition. Also, Simon3D uploaded a tutorial on how to create this anime style procedural fire in Blender. This is a very simple setup yet extremely useful and it produces a really good results. It can also be used in all sorts of things, not just fire. The way you do this effect is by displacing the object geometry and animating that displacement. That's about it actually, by using empties to control the direction, the seed and the scale of the noise. You can produce an infinite loop that you can later plug a cartoon shader on to create the cartoon fire effect. This tutorial is simple, but it is nice to watch. Brad from Light Architect also uploaded a new tutorial on how to do sky replacement in Blender. He will guide you through the process of first striking your footage and add a 2D stabilization to use later on for the sky replacement to add some movement to the sky cause otherwise it will be stationary and it will not move with the footage. After that, you will jump to the compositor and see how to key out the sky by layering a couple of key nodes one after the other, sampling a different color each time. After that, you will combine the sky with the footage and finish things up with some color correction. This is gonna be a great tutorial if you want to learn more about the compositor and how to use it to create great shots using only Blender. The Light Architect YouTube channel has a lot of great tutorials like this and I highly recommend checking them out. The next one is about how to use Z-Depth Pass in Blender to composite 2D elements inside your render with more control. Z-Depth is a pass that ranges from black to white based on the distance from the camera, with black being in the foreground closest to the camera and white in the background, and mid-gray values being in between. Using this technique, you will be able to export your image and composite it with more control over how you can tweak the elements in the post-production process. This Kaizen Tutorials video will teach you how to Thanos anything you want into Oblivion by using this dissolve technique, which involves using a custom shader with Alpha Blend. The setup is easy though, you will build the shader step by step and then apply it to the text element. And to make the animation more dynamic, you will see how to add a particle system to complete the disintegration effect. Polyfjord also uploaded a 20 minute video on how to create this line effect animation and learn how to turn your handwriting into physics simulations. Using the cloth modifier, you will also see how to composite the animation on a video background with real footage. First, you will see how to create a curve and add thickness and glowing material to it, and by adding the cloth physics and a hook to control the animation. 
Next, you will see how to animate the hook and track it over real footage. At the end, you will also see how you can incorporate this technique into other ways, like using geometry instead of the skin modifier, or how to create a spider web, etc. If you want to model assets in Blender based on images, then this is probably the fastest and most efficient ways of modeling assets. And this is by modeling over an image, and you can project the texture on top of that, which makes an extremely detailed model with just a couple of geometry pieces. Next, we're going to see the full process of product design in Blender, highlighting the process of modeling a pair of headphones from start to finish. Not only that, you will learn the process of adding materials, setting up the lighting, and finally doing animation all inside of Blender. You will also be using cloth simulation to create the headphones, ear pads as well. The tutorial is fairly simple, but some knowledge of Blender is highly recommended. Overall, you will get a lot of tips and tricks over each step. You'll be touching on a lot of subjects such as topology, subsurface workflow, cloth simulation, bump maps, texturing, procedural textures, product design, product lighting, product presentation, and more. This video is brought to you by Chip Walters, developer behind a lot of amazing Blender add-ons such as GitOps Pro, which is a Boolean kit bash collection that helps you iterate and model things in Blender in a non-destructive workflow. There is also Design Magic, which is a collection of over 200 carefully designed GitOps inserts, which allow you to simply drag and drop the model directly on your objects. There is also Simple Sci-Fi, an amazing add-on that allows you to create awesome sci-fi surfaces and instance geometry that you can use to create cities or spaceship details and anything else in between. It comes with multiple generators and it can export true 32-bit displacement maps. This in addition to a lot of cool add-ons that you can find on his page. If you are interested, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.